Earlier this year, Buell announced the fastest, coolest cruiser on the market, except it isn't on the market, and it's likely to be one of those rare unicorn bikes gobbled up by collectors if it makes it to market. And I have 10 things you need to know about the Buell Super Cruiser. Hello everyone, I am Mike, and welcome to New Bike Mike, where I like to share information about new bikes that I find interesting. If you like this video and you want to see more videos like this in the future, then please remember to hit the subscribe. After all, it's free. Earlier this year, Buell announced that Buell is back with an all-new high-performance Super Cruiser, designed alongside the efforts of Roland Sands Design. 450 pounds of Super Sport power merges with easy-going ergonomics for an iconic throwback to styling Sunday afternoons. Let's get into it. 1. The History If you did not know, Buell today is not connected with Eric Buell, who was the company's namesake originally. The history of Buell is probably a worthy topic for a video, but today what's important to know is that Eric is not related to the company that was sold off and the bikes being produced today are based on designs from almost 10 years ago. Some would say Eric's designs were so advanced that these are still leading edge designs today. In 2021, the company announced that they would be back in the production motorcycle business. I, for one, am still waiting to see this come to fruition. 2. Design For the Super Cruiser, Buell has teamed up with Roland Sands on the design, which is a smart move in my opinion. The Super Touring motorcycle they had announced in 2022 looked like it was a bad render created by a 12-year-old for a school project. The Super Cruiser is the opposite, and you can definitely see the design was done by somebody who is a real motorcyclist and that knows the industry and the customers, not some guy that draws crap that no motorcyclist is going to buy. I think the design looks great and has real promise, if Buell can deliver. In fairness, Buell has released new photos featuring a much more refined and better design for the Super Touring model, but the first images were something that will always be burned into my mind. Three engine. Boasting a 175 horsepower V-twin water-cooled engine, this bike seems more like a hooligan bike than anything that you might want to commute to work on. But if you're looking for a power that will excite you to the core, then maybe this is the right choice for you. But I do have some reservations. The engine has two exhaust ports per cylinder, so the exhaust has got four into two into one as it progresses down the chassis. Four drivetrain. While specs for the drivetrain are not officially stated, I would assume we have a six-speed transmission just like the 1190SX that the engine originates from. It's obvious from the pictures it does have a chain final drive. 5. Chassis and Suspension. Prototype chassis is a custom tubular chromoly steel frame that will remind Harley enthusiasts of the XFR chassis. The front suspension is from Buell, but will be extended about an inch for this setup, and the rear shock is a Penske shock. 6. Brakes and Wheels Assuming this machine comes with the same braking system that's on the 1190SX, it will have an 8-piston setup on the front and 2-piston setup on the back. 17-inch wheels front and back running Dunlop Q5 tires from the factory. 7. Dimensions Total, the Super Cruiser 1190 weighs in at 450 pounds. I have no idea for the height, width, or wheelbase, but Roland Sand says it's narrow enough to carve traffic on the freeway. 8. Tech A digital square display is shown in the video, but no mention of safety aids like ABS or IMU at this point still. 9. Colors and Price We still get no idea of the pricing, but I'm going to guess 20 to 25,000 based on how they're pricing their other model. 10. The Cons I try not to be negative, but we need to remember Buell has basically no dealer network. The CEO is a guy that was supposed to liquidate the company. A lot of the technology was designed by a guy that has not been with the company in years, and they're taking non-refundable deposits, yet clearly it states on the website that a deposit does not guarantee that the bike will be built and delivered. If it was not for Roland Sands being involved, I would not even consider this as a feasible product to reach production, ever. Don't forget to like the video, it really helps the channel grow, and subscribe if you want to see more videos from New Bike Mike. Thanks guys and see you in the next one.